Hey, what is up everybody? It is Thursday. Video comes out tomorrow, so I figure I better do a video. <laughs> Anyways, uh, we're just finishing the workout in here. Still doing Ryan's 30-day uh, garage challenge workout. Actually, this is my second 30-day portion of it. You guys, amazing. Love his workouts. Anyhow, we have a turn today. So today's trip, we're going to start off in Phoenix, obviously. Heading up to Portland, Oregon. Keeping the same airplane, coming back down to Vegas, Las Vegas, Nevada. And then uh, one more back into Phoenix. Fortunately, right now we're running a little bit behind schedule. Uh, just check the uh, weather, you know, just seeing what was up there, whether or not to take a jacket. Then I noticed that we're running about 25 minutes late. We have built in slot time uh, with our ground time through our uh, each stop that we go to. So hopefully we'll be able to chip away at that and uh, maybe make up a little bit of time. But for now, that's the, uh, the trip. And uh, we're to be at the airport here about 1.30. It's 11.30 now, so I'll finish up the workout and we'll get on, uh, on the road. Sorry, I'm out of breath. <laughs> Today's trip should be pretty, uh, pretty easy. Um, it's all domestic, like I said, just Portland, Vegas back home. Uh, we are gonna be getting in a little bit late, about 10 o'clock at night. So getting up early in the morning, it kinda makes for a long day. But you gotta get that workout in, so. Airplane, we love airplanes though, it's all good. All right, anyways, hey, thanks for spending your Friday uh, with me. If you're watching on Friday, if you're watching the weekend, you guys are absolutely awesome. Thanks for the support. Uh, we're gonna finish up this workout and get to the airport. See you in a bit. I get to it first, I got you mad. I guess that when I get to it last. Get it that I'm never going back. Get it that I'm never going back. Up, going up, going up, going up, going up, going up, going up. Get it that I'm never going up, going up, going up, going up. And just like that, we're here in the cockpit. <laughs> All right, guys, we just got to the airplane. Those guys shut it down. Um, so we're just gonna bring it back to life. We are running a little bit late. What we try to do when we're running a little bit late is get the airplane ready. What usually happens is we can get the airplane ready in five minutes, give or take. Uh, I still gotta go do a walk around, but we can pretty much be ready to go within five minutes or so of getting to the airplane. The limiting factor is just basically getting all the people on and off and getting all those bags on and off. Hey, look, it's you, baby. Anyways, uh, that's kind of a limiting factor. So, you know, we'll get the airplane ready. We'll be ready to go. The number one thing for us is just to make sure that the airplane is is ready. There's no maintenance issues. If we do have a maintenance issue, we'll get it early and start working on it early. That's kind of why I show up to the airplane early. We're getting the IRSs aligned. Go in here, grab the GPS position back put that in there like you guys have seen so many times before going phoenix to uh, portland on flight uh, 1545 just by looking outside you can tell which runway they're leaving but as you guys know on our ipad i can pull up the adis for phoenix it's uh, 200 at nine so they're departing to the west so we'll 2-5 right, which is right over there. So I'll put 2-5 right in here. Activate, execute, ATC, we'll log into CP DLC. Execute that. It's accepted. Now we're going back in here and letting the airplane know we are pre-flight ready. We're 117. The weather, we can pull it off the iPad, but we could also do it here too. Since I'm here, we'll go ahead and do that. Performance, weight, and balance, we'll do the takeoff conditions. So our jet pan is 7146. We're departing 25 right. I'll put 26 in there just in case we need audible, and 25 left, just in case we audible to that too. So we got no gradient on those runways. We'll go ahead and send it off, and we'll wait for all that stuff to kind of get going. So right now I'm gonna turn on all the lights, the FO lights, as you guys know. I'm gonna go outside and uh, do the walk around real quick. So see you in a second. All right guys, back up. Uh, here's our clearance. Uh, we have the ATC prompt. We're cleared to uh, Portland Airport via the Quakey One Grand Canyon as filed, 8,000 feet, which we have set right here. Our squawk is 1505, we've got it set. And we responded with a Wilco. ATC knows what we're doing. Here's what we're doing on our WSI map. 
you can see a lot of weather in the middle. Uh, if you guys are skiers, I hear Reno and Heavenly and all that. Uh, South Lake Tahoe, they got tons of snow. <laughs> so uh, I haven't gone skiing this year. I hope to do it soon. Uh, just heading straight up Portland. If we pull that up. Weather over there. They've got uh, light winds, few clouds at 3,000, 55 degrees. It's absolutely gorgeous. So we talked about running a little bit late today. The only way we make up time is on the ground, believe it or not. Uh, we'll get some shortcuts in the air. Uh, you can push the airplane up, you know, a faster speed, but typically that only saves you maybe five minutes. So not really impactful on the grand scheme of things. And also considering how much fuel you're burning. So in today's environment of saving fuel, uh, we try to catch up on our, our time on the ground, which means, you know, getting the airplane loaded, um, passengers getting on, how fast they get off, you know, all those things kind of impact it. But uh, despite popular belief, pushing up these throttles, they don't save you a whole lot of time, <laughs> believe it or not, because their difference is uh, today we're flying at 0 0.77, 0 0.78. The difference between that and 0 0.80 over an hour or two hour flight is not very impactful. So, and you burn a ton more gas. That's what we'll do. We have uh, the opportunity to make up time here, the opportunity to make up a little bit of time in Portland. So maybe by the time we get to uh, Las Vegas or even back home, we'll be back on time. So that's kind of the goal. Um, all right, we're gonna brief it up and head on out to Portland. So we'll see you in Portland. All right, guys, we are here. Not too bad, two hours and 29 minutes is our flight time today. Uh, we made up a little bit of time. Obviously, we couldn't make up a ton of it, so uh, we ended up making about 15 minutes or so. So nothing too great. Uh, again, everything is made up on the ground, so we rely on our ground guys to kind of turn the airplane, get the bags off, get the bags back on, fuel the airplane and ready to go. Our stuff up here, five minutes. Uh, it'll take us to get the airplane ready, re reprogrammed, and then, you know, a little briefing and on our way. That's what we're going to do. The approach in here is gorgeous. Portland, the Pacific Northwest, the most beautiful place on Earth uh, when it's like this. <laughs> when the weather is just clear outside, we pass through Mount Hood. Uh, that looked amazing. A lot of snow on the, on the mountains out there it looked great. Uh, just the landing, man, I wish I could film it for you guys, but... I can't. <laughs> We're gonna get the airplane ready. We got to, to head to Las Vegas and then one more back to Phoenix. So here we go. All right guys, we are about ready to roll out of here. Got the ATC prompt. Let's see what we got. All right, we're clear to Vegas airport via the Cascade 2 poly then has filed. Maintain 7,000 feet. So we'll dial that back down to seven. I expect 37 in 10 minutes. 18-1 is the departure freak. All right, 18-1. There's two of them, so we're gonna do this. Again, because I don't want to get lost. All right, we'll accept that. 6663. 666. Six, six. Because I'm superstitious, we'll do three, and then six. It's a terrible squawk. Here is what it looks like on our WSI planning app. Um, all this weather right here, we're way over. Uh, that's pretty low altitude. So let's see what Vegas is doing right now. It looks a little rainy. Arrival and departure ATIS. Yeah, you see right there, 10 miles. Rain, not kind of heavy rain. So uh, scattered at 18, scattered 48, and broken at 15. Clearly it's wet down there. We'll go ahead and uh, brief this guy up set that back up we've got that set there that set there we'll grab the atus here in a second and then we'll be on our way i'll let you guys know how the landing is down there uh, i'm pretty sure it's not going to be as nice as the captain had over here with the nice weather and all that it's okay sometimes you sometimes you get that leg <laughs> so. all right guys we'll see you in vegas
All right, guys, we are here in Vegas. It's a very wet Vegas deal. So here at Bravo 15, um, really wet outside. Um, passed through a couple of rain showers on the way in. A nice little tailwind on landing. So we got all the uh, all the deals. We did the ILS to runway 26 left. To about two hours of block. Got in the 5.1, so we've got one more leg to head back to Phoenix. Uh, that one should be a nice short one the way I like it. 47 minutes back home to Phoenix, so that's what I like. <laughs> so anyways, we got tons of paperwork right here. We're gonna get all set, I'll load up this box, and uh, we'll head back to Phoenix. All right guys, we just got our clearance. Uh, here's what it looks like. Cleared to Phoenix via the Rassler one, Zane, then as filed. Climb to the Sid, top altitude is 190. Got a few step up, uh, step climbs in that Sid. I'll expect 29, going kind of low today, 10 minutes. And departure frequency is on the plate, 7333. Got that sit here on the plate. Our departure frequency off of runway uh, 26 left is 259. So uh, we'll be executing this guy. Here's the engine out. We talked about that before. A little bit complicated, but uh, basically three sections on there. Engine failure at V1 to 4,000 feet. There's another one after 4,000 feet and before this point of cells. And then after uh, cells, we continue on the route. And then briefing all that up, uh, it is top of the hour. We were supposed to be out of here 25 minutes ago. So we never really had the opportunity to make up that timing uh, along the route or along the trip. So it's just one of those things, you know, as pilots, we try to get that mission completion and try to get, uh, get us on time, but uh, it doesn't work out sometimes. So the way it is, we do what we can. We try to get back on time, but uh, you know, as safely as possible, obviously, but sometimes it doesn't work out. Looking at the weather on the way back to Phoenix. It's wet out there, Phoenix right now. The eight is here, it's gusting up to 25, 10 miles, overcast to 8,000. Doesn't show any rain yet, but uh, we should expect rain to, to hit it. Approach to runway 26 right now. They're still doing the visual approach, so that's pretty good. We're gonna get out of here and uh, last leg back to Phoenix. Just a quick 47 minutes back home at uh, altitude of 29,000 feet. Because it is a quick flight, uh, we go down kind of low, but uh, we are gonna have some weather out there to contend with, so we'll be working that weather radar. <laughs> so, anyways, all right, we'll see you guys in Phoenix. guys we are here actually we missed all the rain so a little bit on the ground but not too bad captain did a great job on the landing so <laughs> anyways we are done for the night we're gonna call it a night i'm um, actually flying with sam tomorrow so we'll put that on the uh on the youtubes as well yeah. looks like our jet bridge is broken unfortunately we are here but we can't get off the airplane <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, yeah, they ended that uh, last video. Uh, the jet bridge did end up going going up. We got a mechanic to go out there, so we're all good on that. Um, hey, today we're going out to uh, pick up Sam's parents, so I'll put that on the next video. But again, always, I uh, I really do appreciate your guys' support. Thanks for uh, thanks for watching, and uh, we're gonna get going on uh, this next video for you guys. Uh, it'll come out next week.